Okay, you took the plunge. You got the sewing machine out of the closet. You've got it threaded. And now you need to thread the needle. Get some paraffin or beeswax and run the thread through that beeswax a couple of times and then snip off the end. That'll give you a nice stiff part of the thread to poke through that needle. It makes threading the needle a whole lot easier. Pull the thread through the needle and keep a hold of it. Turn the drive wheel to lower the needle once and bring it up once, just once, and then pull on the thread and you'll pull that bobbin thread right up through the throat plate and have the thread all positioned to where it needs to be to stitch. You're going to want the, the needle to be at the very top of its run whenever you start or stop. And there is a little arm that goes up and down here to maintain uh, the, the thread feed. And you want that to be up at the very top as well. Then grab your fabric because you're about to learn how to sew. Put the fabric, just one layer of fabric, under the presser foot and lower the presser foot down so it holds it in place. Then you're going to sew a straight line guiding the edge of the fabric along the edge of the presser foot. And there it is. Your first row of stitching. Aren't you proud? When you can th sew a straight line several times, then take that fabric and fold it so that you have two layers. Set it under the presser foot. And this time, when you start to sew, you're going to run the machine forward for a few stitches then back for a few stitches and then continue forward. That locks the end of the stitch row. When you get to the other end, you do the same thing. Back, forward, adjust the needle and the swing arm so they're both at the highest point. The fabric should pull out easily and then you snip the threads off. When you're done with the row of stitches, open up the fabric and kind of pull on it. That fabric should be nice and tight together. You shouldn't be able to see where the stitches are coming through. There shouldn't be any holes or puckers in it. Then close up the fabric again, turn it sideways, and give it a good snap. Check and make sure that those threads have not broken. If the threads are still good, then your tension is probably about where it needs to be. Continue practicing your straight stitches, locking them off at each end. Now 
adjust the needle, snip it off, and there is the first step in learning to sew. At this point, there's nothing that you can't do with a little bit of practice and a little bit more fancy stitch work on the machine. But getting started is as easy as that.